Hey guy! Dinner in five if you want to join! Oh, I actually have uh, quite a bit of homework to catch up on. Oh, well that's okay. But, uh, hey Rusty, you have quite a few cords there plugged in. Oh yeah, I'm actually being environmentally friendly and I have a lot of rechargeable stuff. Actually, having all the stuff plugged in at the same time can actually lead to um, breaking up, flipping up right here. Huh, I didn't know that. Or it could start an electrical fire. Really? And actually, having these is against hall policy because anything that makes one outlet multiple outlets without being surge protected is against hall policy. So one of these ones is good because it says surge protected, but one of these is actually bad. Oh, darn. Hey guys, this is the breaker box. It will be located on your floor somewhere in the hallway. For more specific locations, talk to your hall director. But to open the breaker box, you will have to find your either, either your retainer or master key and find the padlock key on that keychain. In the magic of TV, this padlock's already opened, and then you can open up the door to the breaker box. You will see on the door a list of um, the breakers numbered, and they're also numbered on the panel. And it also includes the room number that each breaker is associated with, or the hallway. Um, this is helpful to know um, if a resident, let's say, in room 107 has problems and they think they flipped their breaker, you can check that breaker, so number four here. And usually if it's flipped, the breaker will be sitting in the middle. And to reset it, you'll have to flip it off, which in this case is to the left, and then flip it back on to correct the problem. And then you should be set. If you have any questions, feel free to talk to your hall director.